you know what I think a lot of us are really good at for the sake of survival is the art of suppressing our feelings. You know, we'll say things like, everything happens for a reason. It must have been his time. This too shall pass. And you know what? All those things may be true, but what we end up doing by telling ourselves those things and just rationalizing why something may suck is we end up just skipping over the whole feeling part, the part where we sit with whatever pain that is. And the thing is, when we don't feel those feelings, it's gonna manifest in some way. If you've ever read the book, The Body Keeps the Score, you're familiar with this concept. The idea that when we suppress feelings, it's gonna manifest in other ways, perhaps addiction, perhaps terminal illness. It's really had me looking at, why do I deal with what I deal with? And I think much of it is, I don't know how to feel. And that's where this EFT concept comes in, why I'm so excited to share this technique with you. This intro I'm putting together was after the fact of me filming this as I came up with some realizations. But nonetheless, I hope this video brings you value. With that, let's get into it. I'm gonna share with you what you need to know about EFT, the different approaches you can take, how it's made a difference for me and some examples, and then, um, yeah, you can just be on your way. So what is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and it's based on the theory that negative emotions are caused by disruptions in the body's energy field. By tapping on specific meridian points while focusing on the negative emotions, EFT aims to clear blockages in your energy system and restore balance. So with EFT, it's kind of a way for you to give yourself emotional acupuncture on your own at the ready whenever you need to. And the way it works is you start by rating where you're at with whatever it is you're looking to treat. Maybe it's a phobia, maybe it's pain, maybe it's anxiety, depression, overwhelm, whatever. You rate it and you start at a rating on a scale of one to 10. This just gives you a sense of how much did the tapping improve and if you need another tapping session. Then from there, after you rate, you then address what it is you're feeling. So for me recently, I was dealing with this overwhelm and feeling like a failure, like I can't do it all, like I'm not capable. And I just started tapping, saying what it was I was feeling. I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know that I'm capable of this. I'm I, I'm so overwhelmed. I just, I just want to cry. This is so hard for me. Just saying what I'm feeling. And by the way, I'm becoming more and more aware that I'm somebody that just shoves my feelings down. By at least confronting it, that itself is so therapeutic. I just like address and say what I'm feeling. I go through that through the different meridian points. I'm going to share with you what those are. But as I'm saying this thing, you do each point for about like six to eight seconds, and then you do another round, but this time you say that exact same thing, whatever it is you're feeling, like even though I feel overwhelmed and like I'm a piece of shit, I love and accept myself, like, you know, and that in itself, this whole love and accept yourself, it, forget the, even the love part, like accept yourself. What would it mean if all of us accepted ourselves? I can tell you I probably wouldn't spend nearly as much time obsessing about how I'm aging, obsessing about how I look, obsessing about all these things. If I just accepted myself, that in a nutshell is probably one of the things we all need to work on. It's just like being okay with who we are and owning who we are. So the meridian points start with like the karate chop. You can just start on one side and then you go to the eyebrow, the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the lip, the collarbone, and then under the arm. So that's my kind of just no frills EFT. There are all sorts of videos on YouTube that you can follow. But what happens to me when I go to pull up a certain tutorial is like, I'm just too impatient and it feels more sincere for me to say exactly what I'm feeling and then do the process of EFT again, but this time saying like how I, like I love and accept myself. What a huge difference it makes. And even just ongoing, like I, I find myself taking on this shift of my perspective and getting more clear on when I'm actually seeking something out, what am I really seeking? Um, this is just one of those things. It's free. It's effective. You can do it anywhere. You don't have to say these things out loud if you don't want to. You can just even say it in your head. There's so many free YouTube videos. I would say start there. 
probably don't want to follow my no frills tutorial. There's also an app called Tapping Solution. They have some free content on there. I have not bought a membership. All in all, I really just want to do what I can to share this awesome technique. I think all of us are struggling on some level and, you know, in, in many ways, I'm like, I feel guilty about sharing what my struggles are because it's like, I have everything I need. I have everything I could ever want. Why do I still feel this way? To hear about what's going on in other areas of the world, like Gaza and Ukraine, it's like, how, how can I even admit that, like I struggle with things? Like, who am I to even say that knowing other people are struggling so much more? But that doesn't take away from the fact that we all struggle just because people are struggling more than us. And if, if we can actually address the issue at hand, we're so much more equipped to do great things for the world. So I think that's really what it comes down to. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.